Gio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast. And we're coming to you live from the final of the Crate Galactic Championship Qualifier. We have two players that have fought through a field of 265 players is where we started at. And we were left with two. We have Kenneth Lyon, the slayer of the Australian Beast versus Fawn Langerlon, the assassin. He's just he's a great player, really, really great player. I'm excited about this, uh, but before we go too far into this, I want to say thank you and welcome to our community team up. We are teaming up with Rosangela Squadron. How's it going, Guillermo? Hi, Dio, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, and how are we doing, Pedro? I am fine, really excited, again, not to see a mirror match <laughs> and to have some fun. Should be a good time. We're also joined by D. Yoon. What is up, X-Wing GSP community? And with likely random inserts by Nick Sperry, Did the Fon producer. Did off the board yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so should be a good time hello there there he is hello there he is all right so looking forward to seeing how this is i'm actually going to bounce out of this chat it seems like i'm lagging a little bit i'm just going to kind of reset my connection one second one moment please all right i'm back and then also hanging out with us is uh is robert one of our judges as well robert kukuchka hello everyone all right so Let's go ahead and open up these bets because you guys have been chomping at the bit uh, to, to do it. So let's let's go ahead and open that up. It is open now. Choose your champion. Now, if you've been following the Galactic Championship qualifying series, you know that Fawn won our last one. Okay, he won the planet Dathomir. He was able to conquer it with the Nantex Menace. Now, mind you, in that event, it was a mirror match. It was well, kind of a mirror match. It was Nantex versus Nantex in that uh, in that final. So, uh, sorry, that was Concord Dawn, not uh, not Dathomir. That was two two of them ago. But up until now, we have had for the first three Galactic Championship qualifiers, we had. Nantex mirrors in the final. The first time, it was interesting. The second time, it was cute. The third time, it was worrisome. And now, we have a different matchup. One of the things that is important to note here going into this matchup, uh, D got a little bit of intel on our player. You want to go ahead and share that just so that people kind of can keep in mind uh, going forward in this matchup? Um, <laughs> I learned uh, while... Uh watching the previous match uh, inside their Discord channel, that Kenneth Lyon has uh, never faced the Petronaki spam tech squad. Uh, he does have experience uh, back when uh, the ensnare, uh, sure, like the Sunfac and SureTech was running amok, but uh, he has never faced this particular squad. He's really good at dodging them. That's that's the best skill. <laughs> So I have a bad feeling about this. You got a bad feeling. <laughs> so here's one of the things I wanted to wanted to note here. I know that not having the experience or the practice could be helpful, but we know that he's a he uh, or sorry could be worrisome. But we know that he's a good player. And is there is there a benefit mentally for Kenneth not having lost to the squad before? You know, there there is not this sure thing where he is 100% sure that he, you know, loses this matchup X percent of the time. He's going in pretty fresh. Yes, I mean, um... Yeah, <laughs> you if, if you're, that, if you're was, player... that was the, that was the <laughs> uh, uh, yes that sounded straight like a, I don't believe uh, you, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I, if I were to answer that, I, I would say... Yeah, yes, um, at some point, because yeah, if you have faced like three, four, five Nantex before and, and you have lost all of them, if you're facing this one more time, you're, you would be like, no, man, again, <laughs> come on. But if you haven't faced them, yeah, there is a possibility that you are, like you said, some, some mind fresh, probably like say, okay, I know you're danger, but um, I haven't played you. So maybe 
But I think the lack of experience against this matchup is going to um, is going to be more important than than not having faced before. I I find it interesting that um, that Kenneth uh, didn't take the the usual locks, or did he? Are they there? They're they're, oh, they're in one. a pile. There's there's a stack on there. I think. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and, and another thing I wanted to point out here is, uh, sorry, I want to make a correction. Sorry, Nicholas God won the last uh, last event. It was it was Dathomir. My brain was half correct. Dathomir is the one that uh, that Fan Long Long won. And I know that there were some people in the chat who were who had asked like, why would why would a player who already won a qualifier? So he's won he won the the, the Dathomir Championship. He's the, the champion of Dathomir. Why would he play again? Uh, you can't. You cannot replace competitive practice with anything else except competitive practice. If he is one of the best players, the best way for him to practice is competitive play. So I 100% understand, and there ain't nothing wrong with trying to get a W. I want to tell you that. Nothing wrong with that. So what are... And Go ahead. I, I think just uh, by memory... <laughs> Across the, the these two events, I don't think he's dropped a single match. No, he is not. I think he's completely undefeated. Oh my god! Insert. Well, this could happen. Maybe. Win. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Kenneth can do the first his first defeat when he has never faced him before. The that that list before. Maybe? <laughs> Correct. For for anybody, there's um, a couple of people in the Guillermo, chat. Yeah, you have... One, one second. Come, play, come. play with the whole sensor. Some, one second, sorry. Uh, some people are asking in the chat what what happens with the, with the invites. So the way the invite system works is it's top 32 with roll downs. So there was actually six people, I believe, in the top 32 who had invites already. So then... 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I believe those are the ones who are going to be getting uh, invites as well. I don't. I can't say that the official number. I have to go through and verify and validate all of that. But um, 32 invites are give, being given out for every event, um, no matter what. So they just they just roll down to the next available person. Continue. Great. Uh, I I was going to ask Guillermo because he has. Play with the holo silencers lots of time. Uh, have you played with holo silencers against the Nantix? Uh, nope, but uh, I think that maybe Kennedy is uh, with less uh, stress, I think, because he has never faced this list before. But I think he's kind of doing a, a jousting, and that's, uh, I don't just, know. He's kind of jousting. Yes, maybe maybe he had a wide up spread all the dice silencers, so he can avoid that the bullseye arc. It will be better in this case. Yeah, because uh, green is in a really weird spot. It, it has like, a cloud over there, right? Yep. I I think if green was uh, left to the cloud, like it would be nice because there would be like like three three paths to attack the Nantex. But now it's like he's only going in in two in two paths, in two vectors. Um, this could be a, a a a quick final if they if they decide to joust. These guys can't take a silencer per round. They can, yes they can. You got a lot of dice out there for sure. And it's interesting. You can uh, you can kit out these. Nantex with a couple of different EPTs. Uh, we've seen people do marksmanship. We've seen the crack shot. Uh, we've seen predators and Fawn leaning into crack shot, saying this is he is basically telling us that this is the best EBT for them, having opportunity to guarantee more damage or guarantee damage into a uh, into a target that he maybe may not have been doing damage the first time. So uh, crack shot is there... uh, is still still on top, one of the best EPTs. There's, huh? there's a General consensus that uh, Crackshot is the best. Uh, the the primary dissenter is uh, Nicholas, who who did it with Predator. Uh, but uh, starting with Bohan, um, yeah, the, the the top players, uh, with that one exception, have uh, gone with Crackshot. 
It's absolutely yeah, I I think Ration is the like the, like the best choice. Like um. I, I understand why some players bring Rashad and Magma Ship, especially because of the mirror match. Because uh, if if you can turn one hit to a crit and they crack shot, that crit is going through an enemy Nantex directly to the hull. So it's it's really nice, but sometimes you want the beat. Right. Well, and, and that's the thing that we've noticed. Uh, the Nantex, uh, when, when, when Bohan first... <laughs> unleashed it in that initial qualifier he didn't have uh, much of a bid uh, and as the squad caught on the different spam text players started bidding against each other uh and and their win rate dipped uh and now we're seeing just a return like all right we're not going to worry about the mirror matches uh, whatever happens there happens we're just going to make sure that we have the best chance of clobbering the rest of the field and, and that uh fawn did that as well, like he he had a bigger bid last time, mm -hmm. uh, and now he's just shot it back up. He's just not even sweating it anymore. Now, one of the things I also wanted to bring up is I know a lot of people are worried about the Nantex. It is it is a good list, no doubt. But you also got to remember there was a lot of other games of X Wing played this weekend, right? We had two hundred two hundred and sixty five players. Lots of different lists were played. I will tell you. Um, it's important to remember that while we all do enjoy winning a game, uh, that winning is not the only thing in the game. And uh, in your casual play, you don't have to play against Nantex if you don't want to. It, it is, it's part of the metagame. It's part of the metagame. And Octacon, if you missed, I will tell you, if you missed the top eight game, you missed an absolute treat. Now, Daniel, the Nantex player who lost that game, uh, played well. He did everything he could, but Octacon brought a list that was made to counter these uh, these these Nantex and barely barely lost in the top four. But here we go. We got our first shot here into the green silencer. This is Bullseye. We got hit crit. Obstructed. It is obstructed. Yes. It's interesting. It's it said most likely obstructed. <laughs> Just in case we're wrong, yeah, the computer's just but, being safe. Okay, uh, is he uh, spending the focus? <laughs> <laughs> Zooming most in. Most likely uh, is most likely is just the there to tell you you can choose to make it unobstructed if you want to. No, no, no. It's, so, it says it, it says it different. It says. Um, oh, it, oh, it, it just oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, oh. oh, not again! Not again! Spends the uh, evade. Spends the evade. He's got the gas uh, cloud. He takes two. Wow. What's the math whoa. on that? What's the math on taking damage there? After spending <laughs> oh the focus. So, uh, is, is, this a, is this the same guy who didn't want to evade against Boba last game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That, was, that, was, was, that one was red. Yeah. I mean the the odds of five green blanks is it's it's under one percent. Under. Oh, <laughs> under. <laughs> okay, so you could roll one hundred times that roll and never. It's, it's uh, something like point seven percent. Oh my god! Did he crack shot? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, and that's yeah. He crack shot. Able to wow. push it through. All right, so we got hit crit. Sorry, that was the last roll. No, uh, no results on that one. Not gonna spend the focus. <laughs> I like somebody in the chat says the odds are three thousand seven hundred and twenty to one. Is that, is that <laughs> Phil? That's Phil Pond, I think. All right, so next bullseye shot lined up versus the red silencer. Trail mix, one of each. Uh, I don't think I don't think you spend the focus. You just you just keep the focus here. I mean I don't know because it because on how both, much you both believe silencers have you know, a range. I mean, but they still have the focus. And evades it, no problem. There it is. Because now green and red silencers have an attack. So yeah, you you need the focus to survive. 
I mean, it could happen that green and red take down the brown Nantics. Yeah, and this is why Fawn didn't spend any of could those focus happen. tokens. He wanted to make sure that uh, that he didn't have an obvious weak ship out there available for Kenneth to choose. And it looks like Kenneth has chosen the brown Nantex right in the center. Sorry, on the right side there. First shot, three dice. He's got a focus available. Hit crit and a focus. Spend that focus Ooh. all day. That Spicy. Nantex does have four dice available. Natty! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh. I'm not thinking that there's any correlation with my presence. <laughs> I, I'm not making a, a, that, that sort of outrageous claim, but uh, <laughs> we're seeing the data. <laughs> so now, without... There, there are no coincidences. <laughs> so this silencer choosing to go ahead and fire at the green Nantex that doesn't have a focus anymore because it bumped from downtown. He's looking for a big roll like that again. He does have a focus on this attack. Hit, hit, crit. No, no. He, he only rolled one. I okay. think. And... Three hits. Let's see. This is not obstructed. I believe he has multiple. He had multiple points. Did did Green Nantex engage? Uh, I I, th I yes, think he did. But, uh, I think he's pointed to the right side, isn't he? Uh, the arc is to the, to the right side. Yeah, safe after uh, enough dice. Yep. Uh, let, let's check. Green Green is is three, right? So I think <laughs> yes. Oh, one of the ghosts left. He only got four or five of eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So not too. That honestly could have been much worse on either side. We lost a shield on uh, on Kenneth. Hmm. Yeah, but the problem is that 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 green silencer is going forward. He, I mean, he could go to the through the gas cloud on your on his left, but oh, it's tricky. I've seen this before. This this initiative one ship go against the Nantex, and the Nantex kills it. So, what, what do you think Green should do? Uh, a two bank uh, auto thrusters roll in. I think you could try to bump and deny some tokens <laughs> and say, uh, "I am dying for the first order," so my so my my, my bodies can get some shots with no focus. Uh, maybe um, and hopefully some tractor nantex, but ah, uh, it's it's rough. It's complicated. Guillermo, what would you do in this case? With green, no green is very, a very hard, hard spot. I think maybe a four or five forward and try to block someone and pray to that that gods to survive and make a talon or K in the next turn to to be behind he those antics. Yes, but he's very close to that cloud that make it very difficult in this turn. Yeah, if you, uh, if you go straight, you're going through the gas cloud. I yes. think. Maybe or, even a... Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, it's close. No, it's very close, but I think it's. I, I, I think it will. It will touch the cloud. Uh, Everybody yellow wants to touch to, the cloud. Uh, I mean, uh, to bank, maybe enter to. To get to the other side of the Nantix. <laughs> Red one. I think Red One will do a straightforward maneuver and try to block something. The problem is that they, if they bump, they, they will uh, shoot hollow, no matter what. Yeah, I, I think that's a problem when he came with like these these three ships flying like a block, because uh, one of the weakness, if they have any weakness <laughs> of the Nantex, is that um, you, if you rotate your arc to your sides, if you want to shoot from your front arc, you can only do that from your bullseye so if all the enemy ships are coming in one like say corridor um if you kill one then the other guys can shoot the next ship which is next 
the next silencer in this case. But if those silencers were coming from different sides, you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Because if one silencer dies, then your other ships can just don't have any targets. But you could say, okay, then I fly and three ships point at the silencers and the other three ships point at the other silencers. But these silencers roll three green dice. So there is a chance that with all the three ships, you don't kill a silencer. So, yes, I, I think that's the problem. If you kill green, then the next target is going to be whole, which is really close to green. All right. Now, before we go too far, I do want to remind everybody that this round is brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code CRATE2020 for 20% off. One of the things I'm I'm curious about as well is with these initiative ones, one of the things you got to remember is that blocking doesn't do anything to the earth. This it uh, it doesn't impede the movement and the ability to get a shot on the Nantex. But even with that, I wonder if Kenneth can uh, can leverage taking away some of the actions on these and still getting shots with the other silencers. So you can see Kenneth's intention is to. Go ahead and block, uh, block the Nantex. So we'll see where uh, where the other ships go. We have this hard turn from the yellow mm. silencer, maybe thinking that some of these Nantex might speed up. Oh, Ooh, the boost, unable to cut boost. that. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to two bank the other way and roll for a shot. Yes. I thought that too. Oh, oh, oh tragedies. That's not the ship you wanted to bump. <laughs> you wanted to bump the 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 the, the, the bags, no, <laughs> not your only ships. Red red is imposter. <laughs> sus. <laughs> so sus. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Yellow oh. is going to end up with a shot. It's not modified. Yeah, oh, he has a focus. Oh, he's got, oh, he's focus boost. Yes, sorry, I didn't see the focus on the other side. Now, 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 now this is something funny. If if he tractors, then the yellow is going to shoot at him tractor. Um, but I see you don't rotate because you have a shot on green. So maybe Brown should only focus. Yes. Yep. Yep. Taking it. No need to take more damage if you don't have to. Ooh. And he's bumping his own ship here. No actions. But again, um, Fawn has shown many times and many Nantex players that bumping doesn't bother them too much. <laughs> here, here we go. Here's a cliche statement. You know, X-Wing is a game of positioning. So so, <laughs> so if, if he's willing to sacrifice the action to move the ship where he wants it, then then worth. He could tractor to the right and still shoot at green. Yeah. But the, the problem is that he doesn't know what Hollow is doing. So uh, that would be a, a tractor Nantex. All right, so he's going to take the tractor. Uh, there's no there's no room to the right. What? There, oh, there you go. Is. He might have tried to go back and the, the clouds in the way a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, now he has a shot on green and red. All right, yellow. Taking the bank in. He was expecting that to bank from yellow. He was expecting that to, that to bank from yellow silencer, so that's why he went that way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to likely get a tractor to move forward and arc dodge both of those silencers. Why take two range one sots when you can not? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, there it is. Ooh. Now they have a shot. There's no way Red is get going, getting out of those arcs. He might be able to. He might take the tractor to line up the bullseye, saying, "You know what? If I'm going to get shot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to murk you first. And there uh -huh. is the barrel roll. Puts There's the bull bullseye on. There's a bullseye. This blue bumping. 
Uh, he could barrel to the right, maybe. And also getting out of Green's arc. I mean, the, the good thing for the First Order is that he's taking away the mods. So if he roll eyeballs or blanks, then he's doing no damage. But um, since he's taking too many attacks, eventually one of them is, is going to put some damage. But uh, the most important is that all firing arcs are going to point on Hollow. Uh, depends on her maneuver. Um, she Hollow is probably going to be on Brown's bullseye. Um, oh, also on Pink. Now, now it's really important if Fan chooses the right order to to engage his ships. Yeah. Well, right now he's deciding whether or not to barrel roll the blue. Taking the tractor and barrel reboot. Remember, you do not have to fully execute the maneuver in order to trigger that ability. Yeah, his, his biggest concern is like that he has green in his bullseye. So why should he barrel roll out if he has a really good shot at killing green with red, yellow, brown, pink, and now blue? So D, uh, I have a question for you. In terms of, of 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 balancing the game, you know, I know we 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 have podcasts, we have lots of different opinions. Uh, FFG, they have traditionally, at least as of late, taken the like baby steps approach. You kind of try little things. The, they did have the drastic um, triple upsilon changes, but right now, without official official premiere play um, I doubt they would do any type of sweeping change like that so we saw the the first thing the first adjustment that they made to Nantex you might be saying what, what adjustment are you talking about would in my opinion be the release of the newest wave right kind of like here's the release of the newest wave let's see what happens what do you think would be the next change would it be points or would it be changing the uh, partially execute you know ability to be able to do the tractor shenanigans to fully execute do you think they would ever change that they're so loath to make uh errata i'm sure they would uh, hit points long before they even considered changing uh text i agree i agree i guess now they also they just published that official errata pdf so i was like mm, maybe maybe they're more open to it Oh, definitely. Uh, but but more is still a long way away from looking at that as the first option. True. All right. Three hits going at the red silencer. It is in the bullseye. Oh, yeah, but that one has focus. All right. Spends a focus. Will likely take two damage off the crack shot anyway. Fawn is reaching, and crack shot, two damage to the green silencer. That is half points, a shield and a card. No, it was against a red one. Oh, sorry. Did I say? Sorry. No. Colors are hard. Yeah, against red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another bullseye crack, a crack shot arc, and uh, marksmanship mm. is in play now. Marksmanship? Uh, yep. If they yeah. add marksmanship, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what is he? Crack shot. Crack shot. Only crack shot. Oh, just crack shot. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he he did go for the bid. Got it. Yep. Oh, it was the other yep. uh, spam text that was classic Faramir move. D. <laughs> <laughs> and we are waiting. Hey, so uh, Dion, um, yep. or any, anyone else, so with the the new chassis, the new ships. Uh, what impact have you seen uh, in this uh, massive tournament? Warthog, really good. Um, Warthog, yeah. It's it's so close to the it's, it's the same points oh. as the sinker swarm, so I found that uh, interesting. They 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 are they are calling a judge to a table. Oh, all right, head it over. Yep. Uh, I think I I I have also to 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 say Warthog. Mm -hmm. His ability is super good. But I'm very happy to to see a lot of uh, Malarus in on day two. Also, they were well, they were too bad. Uh, on the list, there was many many different builds around it. One was Kylo and some cadets, also with a six 
cadets, and also the same list, but a Malarus instead of Holo. I think it was interesting to see ba uh, Bosk make it to top four. That's kind of a big deal to me. But yeah, I think obviously it's not a Bosk meta. It's not like we saw a lot of Bosks today, but mm -hmm. you know, in the right hands, that's exciting for people that want to fly that ship or that pilot. So. Agreed. I mean, Bosk is one of those ships that just kind of pops up once in a while. You realize how good it is at punching things in the face, and. Uh... Yeah, they just... well, I, I think it's that 180 arc because we're seeing also, you know, as the Nantex has, you know, risen in popularity, well, quote unquote popularity, uh, efficacy, we're also seeing like the Ozatooks, there was quite a few quad Wookiees in the tournament, and I think there was at least one in the cut. So I think those 180 arcs help mitigate some of that reposition from the pinpoint tractor array. So you can still get shots. Uh, I think that that's the you know, Tooks are also something interesting that's shown up. Uh, the the judge question was uh, the chat log versus visual reference representation because mm -hmm. uh, it it definitely appeared to be range one in bullseye. Yeah, the the chat. The, oh, but it, what did you what did you declare? Strictly by chat log. Yep. For consistency's sake. All right, Ouch. two hits going through, and there's a crack shot, and it becomes three. That's on to red, right? So yep. he's down to one. One hole on red and still has some shots available, right? The blue Nantex there will have a range one shot out the side. Here it is. No modifiers on this one. No crack shot, no focus. One hit. That is enough if we don't get a squiggle on those defense dice. He's fine. Oh, He's natties. fine. <laughs> Just roll natties, baby. Actually, no. He's oh, got one he more shot. He's still got yellow. Yellow side arc. Uh, there are arcs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Three oh. hits. Uh, j just Natty again. Just Natty again. No problem, right? Almost. Oh, Almost. <laughs> Almost. Almost. And he has two more shots. Going after green. Uh, I'm not sure if you span it. Going for it. I mean, he's the one. Fawn has ah, decided to be very aggressive, and that's not going to go through. Oh, um, pink. The, the last bag. And one more. Another shot into green. Yeah. Rush one. And we'll see, uh, we'll see the red silencer removed from the table after this. Ooh. Ooh. Two crits. He doesn't have the focus because he bumped. And just Man, there you go. Got, got what you need. <laughs> just get what you need. No problem. Okay, and that's red goodbye. Okay, now only only two attacks from from Kenneth. Compu diver in the chat. You can't oh, hear so me. So many choices. <laughs> Turn up your volume. All right, and two results. Hit crit, looking at that green Nantex. One squiggle. Crit is going through. And the answer is? Hull breach. Hull breach. Everything is face up. This turn, he doesn't have any other ships that can take advantage of that. Well, I guess you actually do have it at range three, <laughs> just barely. Oh. Oh. But I think you probably take the range two shot in front of you. It's probably better. Uh, uh, or, the, or the tractor pink, range two. Pink is range two on tractor. Yep. yep. I mean, it would be it would be great to to deal some face up damage cards on green, but uh, it's a very like unlikely shot. Uh, what happened? Oh, okay. 
Uh, oh, oh, the ring is four. Is a range one. No, Ooh, it's a range two. Hit, oh, hit, nice. crit. He's so he's doing the range two shot for to, into pink. It's gonna get hit crit, crit through half points on pink. Let's find out what the crit is. Fuel leak. All right, that could matter. We gotta just gotta get some crits rolling here. Now, one of the tools, yep, um, one of the tools that Kenneth does have available to him is the fact that all of his ships are three attack dice guns. If we can get some more nice range one shots, he can really push through. He does have uh, some a decent amount of health in yellow and green. I think just the problem is you got to try to stay out of three, four arcs in one turn. If you're getting shot by one, maybe two of the Nantex, you could be okay and be able to push through. But if you're getting shot by three or more shots, that's when things start going bad downhill real fast. Yep, uh, um, I think that's the problem for next round because I think at least, uh, except for blue, all the Nantes can get a, a shot on yellow because yellow has no way to go because he's stressed. Like maybe even the two bank or three bank is going to bump against the brown Nantex. He has also a cloud to his right, so that's not an option. And green, red, yellow, brown, and pink can go after yellow silencer. Uh, even blue, if blue goes through the gas cloud. So we could be saying goodbye to, to yellow next round. This is a, a total tangent, but mm -hmm. I have heard it come up. Uh, I think it's vital to the community to have a, a, a common semantic understanding of what uh, natties actually <laughs> means. <laughs> I, I think we can all agree that one the fundamental criteria is unmodified dice. Un unmodified Agreed? dice that gets you the exact thing you need. Right. I've been in this uh, argument with uh, Mitch Hurst. He says, uh, like... A three hits and a crit aren't natties because they aren't all the same. No, I, I find that preposterous. No, oh, but it will be like there are not like perfect natties, like some other kind of natties, <laughs> super natties, <laughs> super so natties. Like, you evades and an eyeball are also natties, then, right? Well, only so if only you, if there if were two hits coming three in. Evades, if you need three evades and you're rolling four dice and you get three evades, is that natties or not? I think I would say yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I you just you roll all the same result of a result you want, and that's natty. <laughs> every every die result is a result that you know the same, and it's the result you want. So natty crits, natty hits. <laughs> Tommy, hey, real, Tommy's yelling. Yeah. Real quick. yelling. <laughs> Nick, Nick uh, I'm not sure. All if... blanks are natties too. He says. Can you double check your your damage on uh, pink pinkish purple? <laughs> I can I can I can foresee uh, a post in in the Fly Better Facebook group <laughs> that's going to to question people what do they think natties are? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, do, you, uh, do we have a game state issue? No, 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 no. That was that's, uh, Nick just missed the. Uh, it's a Nick Sperry issue. Nick Sperry right? issue. Woo. On. <laughs> Yeah, in uh, yeah, nat uh, natties are you just ro rolling what you need without having to modify your dice? Here, I was hoping a a coil from green. I don't know if it's this. All right, so this helps. this move the here, the hard two going through the cloud. This is I'm that's punished a, because he rolled a blank, so no strain. It's a really aggressive move. I th I'm curious to see why. Maybe he's trying to block the one hard from yellow. We'll it, it could work maybe if your opponent is expecting he will do a, a, a two straight, for example, and then you decide no, I go through the gas cloud. Then you you are going to make fun uh, to make some decisions. He was not prepared to do this round because the Nantex give you a lot of decisions. You can tractor you you can tractor and rotate, uh, but stay where you are. You can rot, uh, rotate and, and boost or or barrel to your sides. Um, let's take in, in 
these players have been playing how many rounds so far? It's like about 10 in two days. So maybe if he takes some unexpected decisions, uh, Fan can make a mistake at some point because he could be tractored to the wrong side, let's say. It could happen. It could happen. There's the bump. Uh, there, there's the bump, but will he be able to take advantage of it? That's uh, that's the question. He will be forced to rotate if he does barrel roll. If he goes to the other side, he'd be able to rotate to the front. Then they'd both have shots. He might just leave him there. That's probably the safest place. And he does as he uh, has hollow moving now. I don't like where hollow is. No, hollow is in the browns. Brown's bullseye, right? Yes. Uh, and now, uh, now he's in. <laughs> now he's, now he's in blue, brown, oh, and red. In, I think he's in two. Holo can boost. Can I still boost? He can still boost. Uh, I believe. Yep. All right. Got, Did uh, it. got yeah. out of a couple of arcs there. Yep. And uh, I think it's, it's still oh, on. Oh, you know arc. what's What's really sad though, he's gonna have to pass. Oh, just out of range. Oh, <laughs> I was I was, I was I was in the middle of saying he's gonna have to pass that deplete to the the only ship that has a shot. Oh, that was close. The green silencer is happy. Happy silencer noises. Uh, but here comes the si the, the silencer. Sorry, <laughs> here comes the the Nantex. Our... That's a range one. No focuses on that yellow silencer. There's a few league out there. And... One hit only. Yep. Yellow could be safe from this attack. Could be. Oh, Ooh, got yes. it, got it, got it. That's Natty's, so, guys. Natty's, he got what he needed. Well, well it's it's a <laughs> Natty, right? A Natty, yeah, Natty. <laughs> I agree, I agree. It's a Natty. Um, oh, okay, what all right. What is it? A Natty? That's it. <laughs> no, uh, um, that's called a Saddy. Well, it's a Saddy. That, a Saddy. <laughs> All right, range one into the yellow silencer. Two hits. No damage so far this turn into Kenneth's silencers. Kenneth digging deep. Let's wait. And he got the two. He more, got him. Natties. Yeah, more natties. <laughs> let's, let's make that a thing. I really like... Oh, I rolled saddies. Saddies. <laughs> range two. It's a naughty. That's even better. <laughs> No, th there's there's natties, saddies, and baddies. Hit crit. Oh, oh. Let's see. Hollow. And two. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> the first order. Can you feel? Can you feel it? I think wouldn't Travis Johnson say three greens is a good strategy until it's not? Correct. <laughs> Correct. More attacks into yellow. And one crit. You've rolled, you've rolled enough greens. Just, just get another one. Just get another. All right. Takes. You know what? One <laughs> shield <laughs> uh, after all of that. Are you kidding? I'll take it. Yes. Yep. Because I think he has no no more shots. Um. They have. They all have have shot right. Yes. Yep. Now it's time for green silencer. Here we go. Range one. Range one. Could do some serious damage here. No modifiers on that yellow Nantex. This one has a range one. Four dice with a focus. Green silencer. Putting in the call to the supreme leader. <laughs> I mean, a kill shot is plausible. <laughs> one, two, Good three. Cupboard. That's oh! going to be four. Three hits and a crit. <laughs> That's paint. Not natties. That's paint. Here we go. Oh! 
<laughs> what? What? Hold. Oh. All oh hail the supreme leader. God. Let's go. <laughs> Those are saddies, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no, that's saddies, yeah. I'm just curious if anyone in chat, anyone watching, is starting to believe in, in my ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, so maybe there could be that no, uh, like ghosties? If, if those are how to die. <laughs> right. Ghosts, ghosts involve uh, the dice conspiring together for outrageous results. <laughs> Oh my god, that's why Nantix out. All right, that's uh, by the way, happen. that's a tie now 48 to 48. 48 to 48. Oh, nice. So, a ship for a ship is not necessarily the trade that Kenneth wants. If he can get another one, if he can get another one without losing any more of the ships for him, he's going to be in a good place. I have to step away here for one second. I've drank too much water and I got to go pee. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now, oh, why is yellow still on the table? He's refusing to die. <laughs> Have they moved on to dials? Yeah, they are setting the yeah, dial. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Fawn has, uh, has uh, viscerally registered it <laughs> as dead. Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard, right? Because you have... Yeah, a total of six attacks this round. He only only dealt one damage, which was one shield, and he lost an antics when Kenneth had only one attack <laughs> against a fully health ship. That was crazy. Uh, Outrageous. Um, yep. I, I'm not sure what you do right now because uh, you could try and go after Holo, but I think Holo is doing a great job um, baiting. Yep. Because if red and blue, uh, blue, blue is um, is kind of complicated because he cannot turn to the right. Uh, that's comfortable. Hollow is in the way. Right. So and green silencer is coming. Um, like Guillermo said earlier, um, from at the rear arc of of those Nantex. So it's going to make things really uncomfortable. Uh, it's it's an even game so far, but um, at some point the Nantex are going to roll the natties they need <laughs> because because they roll too many dice each round, and that could that could be game. Well, who do who do we think benefits from the current board position? Uh, I think Kenneth. Yes, Kenneth. Uh, fan has a. Uh, we'll, we'll have a hard time chasing Holo, and it depends on what the silence are going to do now. I would like to uh, see a uh, one turn from the green one, but I don't know what the yellow one would do. Um, I mean, here's the thing, though. Also, keep in mind, even though the board position state might favor Kenneth a little bit more right now, the Nantex, he can con Fon can constantly readjust his target priority because of that turret and because of the fact that you don't have to fully execute the maneuver to to uh, be able to rotate and, and move around. So you know, it'll be interesting to see what he does if Hollow ends up being the target or if he decides to just go kind of turn back around. All right. Uh Conversely, Kenneth's going to have a, a tough time focus firing on a, a desired target with the, the way his silencers are currently arrayed. I want to see him go, go into green. The one who are, who are damaged. I mean, green uh, Green has a fuel leak or a hull bridge. Yeah, green has a hull bridge. How, how, so about, how about a one hard? It could happen. A one hard to the right for the green silencer and then a talon roll for the yellow one. You get two shots in that direction. And then, and then Hollow yeets uh, a token, a focus, maybe, mm -hmm. to, to yellow. Mm -hmm. It's plausible. And if, you, if you're feeling yeah, real safe, maybe maybe a target lock. Maybe. <laughs> Just depends. Yeah, because... Um, I mean, I, I don't think uh, Blue Nantex is going to attack next round. Red is also in a weird position because he has a gas cloud. But with so, Red one, he will he will try to block uh, Holo. Uh, uh, one turn to the one turn to the right, 
Tractor forward. Hol Hol has Hol a two back move, right? Try. Yes. Uh, he, that was he's going to try to do, I think. And fan can read that he he could barely block him. There's the one turn. I think you just focus. Yep. Slap down the focus. There's the talon. Nice. Look at you, Dion. Now, if it works, <laughs> if, over here. If, if if it works, then I look smart. If it does, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's the beautiful thing about X Wing, right? A, a set of moves can make you look like a genius or an idiot, and it just really depends on what your opponent did. All right, we got a clipping. But that's go ahead. That's outcome bias. I mean, I, I I do like the that set of moves. It's it's aggressive, which is what Kenneth needs to do. Um, and then uh, Hollow could uh, provide that support role mm -hmm. to, to Yellow. So that that's that's really neat. That hit a gas cloud. I think you tractor forward. I oh, know, but, but you tractor, you will be you will force to rotate the duck. No, you mm -hmm. stay there. Yeah, you gotta get a shot. You're gonna give the cloud bonus, but you have you some shots, obstructed shots, but but shots might, still. He might be able to to um, might be able to clear the focus token off of the green silencer. You know, take those bad shots first, and then see if you can follow up with the other other ships. Yep. All right. So that's blue going after Hollow, and it looks like Hollow's the target this turn, or at least for those Nantex at the top. One of the things that I've seen um, that has hurt some Nantex players, depending on on the progress of the game, right now being tied, Fawn is starting to separate his squad a little bit. Their biggest strength is in their numbers. The silencers right now are together. They're going to be able to focus fire down something. Green is going to get shot by two ships. Almost guaranteed. Um, or maybe maybe just one if he did the three bank out, but to the right. We'll, we'll see. Oh, that's uh, kind of a kill box for Hollow. Hollow's um, Holo, got to go fast. I mean... Yeah, red rotate the, the arc to to the right in case Holo made the two bank to the right and then a boost. So there will be a shot there. Uh, but I think he can surprise if Holo did a one heart to the right. Probably. And will he move? I don't think he will move. He's taking, no. he's taking yep. the tractor. To yes. Interesting. He's covering it. He's covering it. He's trying to cover all of Hollow's possibilities. And he's taking the strain. Well, that at least gives Yellow a shot if somehow that green uh, green Nantex gets out of dodge. There's the three bank. <laughs> there it goes. Yep. I, I think you could structure a barrel roll. Mm -hmm. And does. Yep, that will be obstructed from yellow. All right, so now you just you go ahead and you switch your target to brown there from the yellow one, the one that had the uh, did the talent roll. Now if Hollow could get oh, him, oh no, oh, oh. the block. Great turn. Yep, and he's oh. he's going to be taking quite a few shots, taking one, two, blue, brown, and green. This could be bad. Uh, the the good news is that he, uh, Hollow is out of any bullseye arc, but oh, it's going to be tough. Uh, no, no attacks. No attacks for Hollow. I don't think Hollow has shot once in this game. Nope. It's been the support role. Here we go. Range two, I believe. Uh. I think that's range one from the torch arc. Did they check from did, orange? Did, did from they check the orange? I'll uh, I'll go inquire. It's at oh, range. It's at range it. one. It's in there. I was just I didn't see it in the chat. It's in there. He got enough evades. We're good. Yep, that was range one. Hollow is safe for now.
Okay, now he's going after yellow. And two. Uh, has a focus? Yep. Natties. Uh, Got him. <laughs> what natties? More natties. <laughs> oh, it's such a good strategy. Why, why don't more people do that? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to it roll It takes natties. a lot of work. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Dice discipline. Another shot More into hollow. Follow. All right, another two hits. Will hollow Focus keep looking two. like a three agility ship that just refuses, refuses to do it? There it is, yeah. natties, natties, baby. <laughs> Super natties. <laughs> Range two out and the side. Yeah. No no obstruction. Another two hits. Oh. Kenneth, just do it again. <laughs> I mean the luck is gonna run out at some point. There it is. Alright, took a shield. Okay. I will tell you okay. taking Smooth Oh but you Smooth Skeleton, I will ban you. I will ban you so hard. It's my channel. Natties are what I want it to be, okay? <laughs> Rolling what you get without modifying. That's what a natty is. Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who do you shoot? The one range one or the one range two with no tokens? I think he's going after... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> only only I will am blank. He had no tokens. Oof. Now you go for brown here. A tractor yeah. plus a strain. A tractor plus a strain. You're right. Yes. That will be only only two dice because of the obstruction. Mm -hmm. He will have the uh, the modification from the cloud. Four dice. Here we go. Brown is fully healthy. Has not taken any damage. It's range uh, range two. Wait. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, only one. Needs double eyeball to actually do damage. Nope, the cloud does it for him. Okay, so again, uh, first order not not taking much damage, but not dealing damage also. Oh, that's that's also true. Um, yeah, Kenneth needed. <laughs> Needed to be uh, needs to stay on the higher end of the damage curve compared to uh, c compared to Fawn. Every <laughs> each damage is worth more to Kenneth than it is to Fawn. Fawn's okay taking a damage here, damage there. If they're keeping pace with each other, Fawn eventually does win. Now what? Uh, oh, what Kenneth can, can do is. He could try a disengage with both silencers and Holo going straight four, so he can uh, initiative kill Pink. That is uh, with Phil Lake. Mm. Uh, only two hole left. Yes, because uh, uh, you, you, you can do you can't do turns with the silencers because you have the cloud right there and you have four ships going to. To hit back at you. I mean, you can. You just maybe yeah, you shouldn't. Can, but you, you, you shouldn't. You should. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe the maybe the plan is to go after pink. Can you can you get shots on pink? Uh, if pink maybe turns you to can, the left. If if you do a to turn to the left with the yellow, you can do a focus on a barrel roll. And Green just oh. just disengage. <laughs> I mean, assuming that that pink is going to the left, pink, pink could also be going to the right, hoping, expecting, sorry, expecting that yellow and hollow is going after him. Pink can just bang to the right, get rid of that, that strain token, and then barrel boost behind the gas cloud. Barrel boost um, using the tractor. Um, 
So there is a chance he won't die, but he won't be performing any attack this round. And green, um, do you bank to the left? So you got you have more options. Hmm. It's tricky. I don't. You you could try it and, and and go to your right, hoping to to catch uh the green nantex, but oh the green nantex has so many options there. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think I don't think you so go to the options. right. I think you have to go to the left because you you have one nantex kind of isolated right now. And yep. you could you could actually get shots with all three of them from uh, with with hollow and both silencers on the pink uh, Nantex. Now Fawn, I'm sure is 100% aware of that. He is currently strained, not stressed, so he still has access to his entire dial, um, and he's also initiative four. So if these silencers come too close in, you also have the option to just bunny hop over and possibly get a block from hollow. All right, so it looks we got like the we have the two straight from the yellow silencer. We'll see where he plans on going. Maybe picking up a target lock? Nope, gonna take a focus hanging out right mm -hmm. there. And a, boost. and a boost. So planning on going to the right side. And we got the one oh. turn. It's keeping the deplete Notice that that means he's minus one, uh, w minus one red die when shooting. He's going to borrow roll. Yep, sure is. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right call because uh, those Nantex are going to be really close. Here comes blue. Yeah, I, I feel like he did. Overextend that uh, that green silencer just a bit. There's a a lot of possibilities to get shots on the green Nantex. I know you want to get shots uh, with your with your silencer, but a depleted a depleted like range two shot doesn't doesn't feel too good, especially if you end up taking a couple damage before that happens. Blue is only rotating. I thought blue was going to barrel roll, hoping to to gain a bullseye attack on green, but nope. It depends on the, mo the moves of yellow and green, I think. Here comes orange. That's, that's a really light orange. Melon. <laughs> Sometimes. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's we, brown. It's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, so brown. Um, hmm, or you could barrel roll to the right, uh, to, to get that bullseye. I mean, you could, you could probably try because green is depleted. Mm-hmm. It's much less scary. I think he's going to do it. There it is. And, and he might, yep, there it is. Yep, taking a spiral. I mean, he could try a uh, barrel forward, but I don't think there will be any space there. There's no room. Only, only straight or backwards. Yep. And did he roll for the cloud? Looks like he just did. Uh, there's no, there's no roll in the. I think he's gonna try to fix the roll so that he can not be on the cloud. Yeah, it oh, fit all the way course. forward. Yeah, yeah forward, it fit all the way forward. Forward fit. Forward fit. All good. Oh, I thought there was no room, but my eyes deceive me. <laughs> lies, lies, lies. And here is uh, a hard here. three. So this is remember we were talking about the possibility of that Nantex jumping over. If he would have pursued a little bit too too aggressively towards the pink Nantex, he would have hopped over. There's also a good chance he would have been blocked. If he would have uh, the pink Nantex could have been blocked and been trapped between two clouds and getting a shot with yellow. If yellow had been a little bit more aggressive um, with a K turn or a Talon roll, 
But now we have Pink lined up with uh, probably a bullseye shot. M range one minimum. It's pretty close to the bullseye. Yeah, it's range one to green. I... Oh, interesting. Taking, Deciding to take the, the tractor, maybe making a little bit of room and trying to catch a hollow. Um, or trying to get out of hollow if hollow went straight. Maybe if Hollow went forward, then Hollow would have to boost maybe to get some, some attacks. Here comes. Wait, uh, should that strain have been removed? Wasn't Pink attacked last turn? Uh, no, 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 Pink it was, was not. out. The one, the one attacked was Orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, copy that. Oh, oh. K turn. I've got you. That is an hey, aggressive Char. move. He will be able to pass that stress off to one of his buddies, who both are stressed right now. Yep. Oh, but who do you shoot now? You should oh. brown. Oh, that buddy is going to be double stressed. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, but but. I'm not Uh, it's, it's double stress depleted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you go for orange. It's, it's structured. Yep. You got a couple shots there. You have a chance. Could no happen. No damage on that one. You got three dice. Both have a focus. Rolled hit crit. Ooh. Did not have to spend the focus on attack. The response, two blanks, oh, oh. half points, half points. Blinded pilot would be a bad one for Fawn right now. Let's find out what he gets. Got a stun pilot. No, it's a stun pilot. That is actually possibly significant with the Nantex being able to barrel roll using the tractor onto obstacles, limiting some of the movement on that brown Nantex. Mm-hmm. That could be big. Also have points on that. Who shoots first? I think Green is going to to take all the love from the antics. That's right. One hit. Not having rerolls this game has definitely hurt Fawn. Rolling a lot of blanks. Safe. <laughs> one for one. <laughs> That's all you need. Just take what you need. Okay, that. Yeah. No need to be greedy. Oh, here come the questions because uh, I, I think Fan was expecting to at least shoot one at Hollow, but now he has to go after Green. Oh no, he's going after Yellow. It's strange to another obstruction. Does have a focus on defense. One hit. Yeah. Got enough paint. Got it. Now he has three more shots. Yeah, you keep shooting at green. Trying to get rid of that focus. One crit. Fawn wow. rolling Fawn, a lot. Fawn can just not get that over. He is not. Oh! <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Natty's triple evades. The power of and positivity <laughs> in the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And now it's a range three attack. Either hollow or green. You have to keep on green. Um, yeah, you have to get rid of that focus because he may be depleted, but he's going to attack at mm -hmm. a two hole orange Nantex. I, I which honestly has a think token. Kenneth, Kenneth might take one damage. If it's only one ends up going through, he might take it and hold on to the focus in order to punch hard. Yep, that's true. He's going oh. after Hollow. 
two Double focuses. Focus. There, there's two because hits. He knows that if he do a single damage, he will take half hollow. Yep. Hollow still has a focus. Did not have to spend it on defense. He got it. Oh, holy save. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. But it's it's very common to take two evades from four dice. It's not, not uh, understood. Oh. It's it's the series yeah. of like getting exactly what he needs repeatedly. Yeah, you you um I mean if, if you're talking about only one role, then I understand, but it's like how many roles he's evading what with what he needs. Maybe okay, taking one damage top. Mm -hmm. Around. Well, also, how many times has Fawn rolled blanks, too? It's been a lot. That's yeah. true. And one thing that he is, has, is... He has rolled the under yes. on those 50-50s, uh, I think, in my memory, at least, every single time. Now, this... Uh, uh, he's got the last, the brown Nantex left, right in the middle. Going oh, for the green, range. I think. Oh. Oh. Look at that! <laughs> Now, That's ghost. I will. T I will tell you. Okay. L listen. If you if you were a newer viewer, we have very short memories, but we have seen ridiculous dice like this in re in in person games. We've seen it. All right. We've seen it. Okay. If, uh, spending the focus doesn't matter if he has a crack shot, and now green. No, oh, yellow, yellow first, no and yellow. now hey. green. <laughs> now green. <laughs> oh, range one against a tractor Nantex. But it's a depleted. Uh, yes. Three, Three okay. against two. Three against two. One less, one less attack, one less agility. Tell him he's depleted. Yep, I'll roll over. Oh, he's got it. Okay. Yep. yep. Three, three he hits. The Nantex is not See? strained, guys. He's not strained. Two hits. Oh, could be enough. Could be enough. He has the focus. And he's going to push one damage oh. through. Oh. That's a great turn. Great route for Kenneth. All right. Kenneth ahead. 64 to 48. We got 47 minutes left in the round. These silencers still holding on to one shield. Hollow, one hit away from losing half points. So we, we are saying in a regular timed match that Kenneth is the victor, in essence, right? Right, yes. It could, yeah. Uh, you think, uh, yes. I mean, with, with two minutes to, to go in the club, but, but yes. If this would have been a 17 minutes match, then yes. Uh, what what do you guys think uh, about that rule for the two hour final? Because it, it suddenly turns into a substantially different game, strategically. Yeah, I, I've for all my games, I think it matters, because uh, there are some rounds when there are a lot of bams, and in real life that would have taken lots of time. It doesn't happen on, with all nine X Wing. Well, you know, I I if they are playing more rounds. I would shoot. I I I've been on record saying every time I think it's dumb. The two-hour final. Now, <laughs> I then I also have been on record saying, as a person throwing these events, I'm going to use follow the FFG guidelines. That's what it is. <laughs> but but at the same time, I I, I don't like it. I, I think that the final should be 75 minutes. I don't think you change the game by making it 75 by making it two hours. It is a different game. Um, I think the intent. I think the intent behind it is like oh we're giving the competitors more time to think about it cuz we're in the finals and they they're strategizing against each other i think that's the intent behind it but really it just it changes I, and I, I think I think it was either you or Ryan who said it this way certain lists become more or less viable depending on how much time uh, is is starting on the clock when you start a game oh I, absolutely correct like all those squads that uh, that bank points and string it out for for a win as the most likely win condition mm -hmm. get weaker, uh, and uh, squads that can uh, if <laughs> sort of efficiency claw back in uh, get stronger. And remember the orange uh, the origin point was uh, unlimited infinite time. Oh my for, god, uh, I remember that. 
<laughs> for final matches. But there's also something to be said about just the fact that the rest of the top cut doesn't even get extra time, like even top four. Right. It's still high stakes X Wing and they're in the top cut, but they don't get the time extension. I I I think the original design intent is uh you know, full destruction. And having time limits was just a concession to the fact that uh, you, we can't have tournaments dragging on, you know, for like twenty oh, hours no. or what have you. <laughs> yeah, because technically, if you if you want to play like a super casual game, uh, in the rule reference, I think there is no time limit. It's only in the tournament rules. Right. So technically, you want to play a, a casual game with your buddy. You could play a, a, a eternal game if no one, if no ships is if if at least one each one of each has one one ship alive. You could keep playing and playing and playing forever. <laughs> yeah, you know it, it was it was actually um, a uh, Minox fault that uh, that there even is a time limit. Uh, Joe Desmond uh, was involved in the store champs uh, with a uh, flying triple regen in first edition. Yep, that went on for over uh, clo close to four hours, and the the store owner uh, uh, poked FFG really hard about it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we had a four hour uh, the the very first store championship that Gold Squadron ever. Um, ever streamed, and it was actually when our name wasn't even Gold Squadron. The channel wasn't even Gold Squadron. Um, it was something. It was about three and a half hours that I was there. <laughs> it was not fun. It was Lyle Hayhurst was in that final. I don't remember who his opponent was. I remember it was Lyle because not only did I have to stay because <laughs> cause I had to to, to stream. Um, additionally, Lyle at the time did not drive, and I picked him up. So <laughs> that's the best. Yep. Yeah, that that was fun. Mm -mm. Forty two minutes. Loop and chewy. They <laughs> <laughs> we had that final before. We we were there. <laughs> Do you think that maybe uh a green silencer if he makes a to turn to the left? It will stay right there. Oh, huh. I think that's the best possible maneuver you can make, considering that he won't make and he won't take any action because for that double stress. I mean, it's uh, he could he could try and bump the. Uh, some some nantes, but it's it's pretty pointless. Um, but but he could try and make some room for Hollow. Here we because Hollow does matter here. Here we go. You see, Kenneth is uh, is leveraging the fact that he has more health than he probably should, and saying, you know what, I'm gonna step on the gas. I'm gonna stay aggressive. He did the too hard here. He probably could have fit a boost if he really wanted it, but uh, not taking it. T sticking this green. Silencer in the middle, hoping for a bump, probably, or at least blocking the. Uh, <laughs> uh, blocking one of the tractors uh, from taking up the space there. Somebody asking, is there a Loop and Chewy mod on Tabletop Simulator? I don't know, but that would be great <laughs> if there was. There's just too much physics. I actually have discussed it with Crazy Vulcan, and it's there's just there's just too much happening <laughs> for that to to be feasible in TTS. Yeah, agreed. Okay, that's the tractor. Hmm. Hey guys, the uh, the green. Sanar pilot just did a two straight. It didn't take an action, or did I be miss? Because it was double he was stress. Double stress. Oh, I see. Cool. Mm -hmm. His yeah. link action and the stress holo sent him. Gotcha. Thanks. Um. Oh, now green Nantex is. Can he can he boost out of green's firing arc? No, just a focus. Uh, he's, 
He might not have the space because I'm blue. To blue. Yep. So green green is gonna get focus fired here a little bit. We'll see if the Nantex can maybe bring one of these silencers down. Uh, it's gonna have a couple of range one shots. I was gonna have five shots onto the green one. Could kill it. I will say that Ke Kenneth uh, Kenneth's been rolling hot. You're correct, but the the, the odds the do doesn't begin to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> On anything higher than hot, it, hot is a category. Just fusion. <laughs> <laughs> like nuclear. I'm not sure if this is the right decision for pink. Yeah, I thought he was going to barrel roll right to impede hollow. So the, See, try to block hollow. The hollow, so red can bullseye him. <laughs> I mean, he's looking for the best position, but. Yeah, he got it. He, at least he got the, the clear yeah. shot. Yes, clear shot here. Okay. Uh, also, um, no, that's the one. It's gonna take the strain. Yep. Yeah. Plus, he's strained. I mean, there's no no consequences there. Most oh. likely. Oh. <laughs> he tried to do this loop. Failed this loop. Well, he gonna still has a shot on yellow. He's got um, potentially um, how many? Um, potentially um, um, three shots going at Hollow. Um, with pink, uh, pink and blue. Uh, with pink and blue, yeah, because he, uh, Hollow Bump is red. It's gonna go range one. Uh, four dice could possibly clear the brown Nantex right now. Averages two with four dice. Just, just delete that card, Nick. Just delete it. Okay, he needs some magic here because uh, Brown has a focus. Here we go. All you got to do is one damage, though. No, not oh. going to do it there. The sparkle, the magic is gone. Oh, no. Now Green is going to feel some pain. That's a lot of focus chips pointing at him. All right, here Our we go. Is, he has double stress again. One hit oh. there. After spending the focus. <laughs> okay, just just one for now. And got it. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Again. <laughs> Clear the first. Still, still four more. Bullseye is this is the nasty shot. The crack shot is live, I think, on this one, isn't it? I uh, think yes. That's uh, that's pink. Look yep. at all these blanks. <laughs> Hit crit. Oh my God. Oh. And got him, Natty's. Uh, got to use the crack shot. Crack but for he, two. Yeah, has a crack shot. Or crack for one, yep. excuse me. Yep. The only bad thing is that he's spending crack shot for shields. That's right. That's a sad part. Probably should have shot. Probably should have shot first with uh, the turret arcs. Here. And um, and get the pink one for the last. Oh. Whiffs on that cow. attack. <laughs> one hit after spending the focus. Another three defense dice. Safe again. Got it. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> okay, that's that's two more shots. Can he get out of here with half points intact? That's an angry okay, Nantex. <laughs> hit, hit, that sounds crit. And he's going to take hit, crit. Right. Fawn was due. Fawn was due. He's over it. <laughs> that library book spine is so extreme. Oh, oh. power regulator. Yep. So that Nantex is going to be taking a uh, an ion token after I engaging. If it even gets to engage, he's got one more shot here. That's hit, hit, oh, crit. I'm not sure if he he's will. <laughs> can he save himself one more time? This this uh, silencer's been alive for a long time. Hey. Oh. There's a chance. Good. No, There's a chance. No doubles. No doubles. Oh, he was taking the whole deck. Yeah. Got to do a fast swipe. There we go. 
And it's a stun pilot. Stun pilot. Oh, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh man. So the big the other the other part of this is when you have a ship that is that has one hull walking around, it requires an additional shot in your <laughs> from your from your barrage to actually get it off the board. Now Kenneth is some suffering from the same problem because the brown Nantex didn't die this turn at one hull. But we'll see uh, we'll That's see what right. happens here with this shot. Taking the ion oh, token. Two silencers going two silencers are going after green, and green is. Uh, with a hull bridge. I'd also like to point out this is this is a clinic by Fawn about how not to to get uh, tilted because he's clearly still making tremendous choices and uh, making uh, tons and tons of amazing uh, great decisions. Oh, okay, that that sounds fair. Because I, I, I want to say a lesser Nantex player probably would have lost this game and just, you know, gone to pieces. All right. And he's That's a crit. He's That's taking, hull breach. Taking with, a, with a crit. Yep. Hull breach crit. Loose stabilizer. Ooh, forced loose to stabilizer. go straight. If he survives. You All go right. after green. Yeah. Dude, just keep going. Hull breach is still active. Down to two hole over there. Focus has been spent on offense. That's going to be two hits after the focus expenditure. Fawn looking for his own natties. He's going to take one more. Remember, hole breach makes it a crit. crit. Is a weapons Weeble failure. failure. Okay. Okay. Sounds about right. But that's another half Nantix. How how many points that would be? Um, Kenneth is still ahead, right? Yeah, Kenneth's up by eight points now. It looks like eighty to seventy-two. Oh, with about half an hour to go. I mean, uh, there are only two fully health Nantix. So one shot from a hollow or... I mean, the uh, problem here is that we know where Green is going. He has loose stabilizer. If Fan forgets that, then well, that, uh, Green is out. Also ionized, right? Mm-hmm. Um, no, that's... Uh, ionized. That's... Um, green, no, that, that, that's green silencer. But, but Green Nantix has loose stabilizer. And an ion token, isn't it ionized? No, no, but that, but that's on, on two different greens. Uh, ionized, ion. So the silencer, silencer, green, green silencer. silencer is ionized, and the green Nantex has the loose stabilizer. Oh, I got you, Roger that. So green Nantex has to go forward, and I, I'm not sure if any Nantex is going after yellow. After yellow, after yellow silencer, yellow silencer may may have a, a, a good shot at at green. Yeah, defensively, one uh, of the problem. problems with the ion is, uh, of course, you're you're shortening the maneuver, which makes it, it makes it going to be a little bit easier for Fawn to make sure that he can keep time on target. Um, you wouldn't have been able to do an action anyway. Anybody who might not be familiar with ion maneuvers, after it, you can only perform focus actions during that turn uh, but obviously being double stressed and bumping into an enemy ship n no actions not today yep but, uh, green green nantes can still do a fight forward evade and be safe um he can that's that's right uh the problem here is that uh, there are only there are other two nantex at half points uh, I'm correct. Yep, it's uh, pink and um, brown. Brown down pink to brown. one. Pink down to two. I guess it's taking too many rounds for Fan to take down one silencer.
I think the green one is blessed by the dice gods. <laughs> <laughs> because a uh, red red fall uh, fell very very early. Uh, that's right. But 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 after watching so many Nantex games, uh, one feel like that's what should happen. <laughs> Because there are six attacks all going into into a ship and eventually it's going to to kill it. Uh, I mean, um, I I would love to see the dice day six after the game is ended because I I feel that there are too many blanks rolled by by fan. Here's the ion maneuver. Mm hmm. Gonna be bumping there. Yeah, but I, I think he, he has some problems executing it. You got you gotta finesse those uh those ion tokens. There it he is. got it. Okay, getting rid of one stress token. Gotta be gentle. All right. Okay, no. The other problem, you know, Nothing. I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised he didn't move the yellow one first. That may, ooh. oh, ooh. yeah. So this is, this is what okay. I was, I was, I was saying is that if he would have done the too hard, he would have gotten around, and the silencer being the green silencer being a little bit farther back, likely would have given him the room to get some maneuverability in there, uh, maybe with some boosts. And he's taking the strain. Yeah, I, I think that the one hard there, a little bit greedy. I see what he's trying to do, but he's trying to cut to the inside. Mm. That's been turning away. Skipping the... Oh! No, no, he didn't overlap the gas cloud, so... No, but he made a wide maneuver, so he's keeping the strain, and now he's uh, making a tractor. Yeah, he's going to look for some obstruction from yellow. I mean, it could be range one, but uh, yellow doesn't have any tokens, and there's a gas cloud. Mm -hmm. pink, pink, pink is at two to hole. Be fine. No actions there for the red Nantex. Um, but do you do you tractor? Do you rotate your arc? I, I'm not sure if he has the bullseye shot on yellow. Uh, it's it's really close. I think not. Or barely. It doesn't look like it's in there. Okay, he didn't. He didn't rotate. There, um, there's a fight forward for green. The loose. Sta that's the one that has loose stabilizer, um, so no damage. And you take an evade. Uh, no, he's he's debating if he should repair, or he should. Um, I oh, mean, there, there, there are a couple of things you want to repair there: with weapons failure and loose stabilizer. But at one hole. Well, if you, um, if you shoot, you will have one less die. Better is to make an, an evade that, no, rotating. He's structuring himself. I mean, you could structure and boost away from yellow. And, and move then, forward. Uh, and, yeah. yeah, and then repair your your loose stabilizer. Maybe. See what he decides to do here. I mean, uh, you, here. You, are, you are too close to, to, the, to the board, to the edge. He's going to go ahead and take the evade, it looks like. Okay. Playing safe. One turn here. Because Brown still has a crack shot. Yep. And uh, here comes Blue. With just a focus, come on, Hollow. Just trying to trying to catch Hollow. Hollow's probably doing a five k. Do you have the space to oh, do it? Oh no! Oh no! Hollow bumped. Another uh, no shots. Another bump. No shots. I think this is this is the turn that uh, that might put Kenneth away right here. He's likely to take a, quite a bit of damage. Uh, Fawn has continued to put his ships in spots. Where, uh, where they've had to be to get good damage. We have a bullseye range one shot coming in from the Petronaki ace number four. Uh, uh, 
and that's oh. three hits and a crit. He's been, he's just been saving it up. D, he's just been saving them up. He just backloaded them, right? That's right. Hit, yeah. hit, crit going through. That is it for the green silencer. Green. Gets a oh. panic pilot on the way out, it looks like. That poor guy's been stressed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you can imagine the fluff of that engineer. I just uh, came here to like test engineer, this ship. You need some stress. And uh, that's a blank, so the only two hits after spending the focus. And we are going to get another damage into hollow. That's half, point. half points. Um, still two more shots here. Should be able to clear hollow right now with the uh, next two shots. This is going to try. He's got range one, three dice. No modifiers on this one. Hit, hit, crit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. All right. Uh, still okay, taking a crit, though. Still taking a crit. Could do it with a double. Let's find out what's in the box. It is a direct it's hit. It's a double. It's oh. a direct hit. Fawn is oh. reaping reaping his, uh, <laughs> his backloaded luck here. There's a direct hit. It took some time, but... He's got it. it, and now he's yellow, alone. The the ghosts actually they just whispered to me. They they were saying, uh, "We we want to have a good close game, right? It's final match. Let's make it exciting." Uh, but then they were upset because uh, the a, a lot of the chat just got too vociferously toxic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I think you ah. Ooh, speaking of so ghosts, we had we had an anonymous donation in the uh, sorry an anonymous uh sub sub gifting in the chat we don't know who it is it said anonymous gifted a sub Ooh, it's the ghost here comes yellow oh hit hit crit <laughs> oh. 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 out brown is out brown is down Okay, so so one silencer against four Nandex. He's got a he's got a shield. He's all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Green is going away because of Lustal Lizer, uh, so he only has to worry about three. Uh, one of them is half points, so it could happen, maybe. Maybe. All right. I mean, so let's let's talk about the win condition. So he's behind eighty to one fifty one. I think if at any point he loses half and there's more than three ships or there's three or more ships on the board, he's probably lost it. But he does have one hull left on the green Petronaki Ace, who is currently off to the off to the pastures, facing the other way. We'll be back in the fight soon. The pink. Nantex has only two hull. The red one is full and so is blue. So right now I think if if I'm Kenneth, I'm trying to find spots where I can get shots on the hurt Nantex while you can maybe end up with an end game with one silencer versus two full Nantex. And uh and after that you hope. You hope. That's right. Now that's, he he can hit the war. Yeah, he can hit the gas right here. He can hit the gas right here. Um, uh, Nick, please clear the brown Nantex off the overlay. Uh, he can hit the gas here, go five forward, and try to chase down the green uh, at ninety six to one fifty one. Try to chase down that green Nantex. But I feel that's kind of is that too obvious? I feel like that is a. Uh, I mean, you, you, but but you know where 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 he's he's going to go. I mean, he's not being able to do a one hard to the right and then barrel because he has to go straight. Um, yep. So there was the five straight yeah. focus boost is what we're expecting. I think you boost. Unless you think you or, can get the block. If you think you can get the block from blue. And, and you could actually get blocked from pink. Oh, he's staying there. He's staying there. There could be a couple of blocks here coming. Kenneth is hoping. I mean, you, 
you you could take down green and then do a 4k next round because there there is no no point on 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 running away because you are losing this is true thank you thank you tim and here we have the turn right behind that nantex so possibly punished for not boosting st stuck in range 1 going to be barrel rolling Yeah, but he's, he has no pressure. He's already winning. Oh, look at that. Making room. Making room. There it is. Yep. Look at this surgeon in action. You know, I, nice. A lot of people are pointing it out, and I, I'm, I'm really, really glad to see those who are doing that. Fawn has been amazingly patient and surgical. I think, D, that is a fantastic descriptor. He's doing what he has to do. He's not getting tilted. Uh, very, very strong player. And he repaired the loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, <laughs> because if you didn't repair the loose stabilizer, you can just forget to shoot <laughs> shoot green because next round he's going to be off the board. The board. One hit. Now, now we're repairing loose stabilizer, giving a chance. Hit, hit, crit. Oh. Oh, magic is running out. That crit is going. Not enough mana. <laughs> oh, talking about loose stabilizer. There you go. You got to go straight. I mean, could elect to take the damage. <laughs> Assuming uh, he's not not, <laughs> not with those eyes. Uh, Three hits. Yeah, let's let's give Dap to both players. Ooh, Ken no. <laughs> uh, Kenneth uh, has, you know, he he's been trying to swing for the fences, doing you know whatever he can to to stay in the in the game, and uh, I, I think this has been a great final. It has been, and he's down to two, so he potentially can execute like a turn next round and suffer only one damage if he gets to kill Green. That's right. If green's still alive, I guess you just keep going forward. And Ken Kenneth, even though uh, even though these odds have been kind of tough, he's been like you said, he's, he's continuing to press. Yep, that's a range three shot. Oof, only two. You only need one. Not gonna get it. He got three. <laughs> oh, negate it. I mean, but, but this is the the other way around. If if we think about three or four rounds ago, when it when when it was Kenneth the one evading everything, and <laughs> and I'm fine with the one missing the tax. All right. So, 16 minutes left. The little silencer that could. Can um, he do it? Uh, at one, a uh, two hole with loose stabilizer. It's it's tricky. Um, because you have a couple of options here. You could um, move forward and repair that, and hoping to kill Green with no focus. Or you could try a non stream maneuver, uh, suffer the damage from the stabilizer, and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Because red and pink are chasing yellow. So there will be some attacks. They have the, the tractor barrel, so, so they can align those bullseye. And I think uh, Kenneth has to get really lucky at this point if he wants that silencer to survive. But I agree, it has been a, a, a really great final um, from both players. I, I really li liked what, uh, what Ken has done, considering he hasn't faced the six Nantes before. Agreed. Yeah, he has definitely put up a fight. Just a little bit of dice luck and continuing the push has been great. And I, I want to emphasize, okay, I know a lot of you guys only tune in for the top cut. I will tell you that we have had six... 32, 16, uh, 8, 4. We've had 10 games 
where a Nantex list has not dominated in the game. If you want to watch X Wing that doesn't have Nantex, we had it. We had it. Um, now, <laughs> so I, I, wa- I want to point that out there. Okay. And also, you got to remember that the final of one event, the final of one event, is not conducive to the X Wing as a whole. We know this is a competitive event. The expectation is that you're trying to win. Now, everybody has, uh, I'm trying to remember, I know that the crates talked about it uh, a long time ago. They use a magic analogy where there's different types of players, right? There's like a Timmy, a Spike, uh, what is, what is, there was, there was another one in there. I don't know. All right, two crits oh. and an eyeball. But all that to say, like, we're, we're just here. We're just here. We're here to play X-Wing and spends a focus, and, uh, and that is the game. What? I think... Right? No, don't. He's at... He's at, he's he's at the hole. Unless he's either hit. Oh, I was looking he's at the wrong deep. ship. He's got two hull left. Oh, he's fine. Oh, oh, but a weapon's failure. <laughs> but he's still not dead. There is a hope. Maybe. A little hope. Two hits. I don't think. Oh. The dice came back and uh, got him. It. it is <laughs> fitting. The luck ran out. Yep. Well, congratulations to Fawn. He is the champion. Woo-hoo! The champion of Woo-hoo! Of our uh, of our crate Galactic <laughs> Championship qualifier, he won two of them. He's a champion of crate and the champion of Dathomir. He's going to be a strong contender in Coruscant. <laughs> Super excited about it. Before we get to our, our final giveaways for t- tonight, <laughs> hey Dio, yes, Fawn Fawn OP ban the Lang Lang. We, we got we got we got we need a point change on the Fawn. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we, have, we have had some absolutely amazing games. And, of course, thank you to everybody who hung out um, for commentary and all of, all of the staff today. You guys have been fantastic. Everybody who watched it.